Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today, we have an exciting topic to explore. We all know iCloud as Apple's cloud storage service, but did you know it's capable of much more? In this video, we'll uncover some hidden powers of iCloud that you might not know about. So grab your devices and let's get started. The first hidden feature is one that can save you from those heart-stopping moments when you accidentally delete an important file. iCloud has a feature called Recently Deleted that acts as a safety net. It automatically stores deleted files, photos, and even messages for up to 30 days, giving you the chance to recover them. To find your recently deleted items, you'll want to open the app that's associated with the deleted file. So in this case, let's go ahead and open Messages, tap on Edit in the upper left corner, and you'll see an option to show recently deleted files. These files can be recovered for, it says here, up to 40 days, but iCloud and Apple will tell you approximately 30 days. So if you need to recover a message, this is where you'll find it. You also have that same option inside of your Files app. So if I open the Files app, you'll see a recently deleted folder located on the left side. If you don't see that folder, if your uh, files is opened like this, tap on this little icon in the upper left corner to bring out the menu item and you'll find that recently deleted area. It also is available to you in the Photos app. So let's open the Photos app and the same thing applies. Make sure that you have this little icon toggled on, locate recently deleted, and you'll see a list of all of your recently deleted files. This can be a lifesaver. Moving on to our next hidden power of iCloud, did you know that it allows you to share entire folders with others? It's not just limited to sharing individual files. With iCloud Drive, you can create a folder and invite friends, family, or colleagues to access and collaborate on the contents, whether it's for work projects, sharing family photos, or organizing important documents. This feature comes in handy for seamless collaboration. And to do that, you'll see that I have the Files app open, and I will push and hold on a folder that I created. And when I do, I'll tap on the share icon. And you'll see at the very top, I can send a copy to the individual. And in that case, they would not be able, they'd be able to see the contents, but they wouldn't be able to change anything. If I tap on send copy, now I have the option to collaborate and I can invite as many people as I want to, to help edit and collaborate on the contents of this folder. Now, there are going to be folders that won't allow you to do that. So if I push and hold on the text edit folder, you'll see here that I don't get that option to share because that's an app that won't allow me to do that. The same applies if I push and hold on pages, I don't get that option to share my pages folder. So you need to create a folder, add the items in that you want to be able to collaborate with people, and then share that folder with others. Now let's talk about iCloud's magical ability to sync your Safari browsing history across all your Apple devices. Have you ever found an interesting article on your iPhone but wished you could continue reading it on your Mac or iPad? Well, with iCloud tabs, you can. Simply enable iCloud tabs in your device settings and you're ready to go. Your browsing history will be accessible across all your devices, allowing you to seamlessly pick up where you left off. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I open the Safari app, and let's go ahead and open a new Safari page, 
If I scroll towards the bottom, you'll see from Ellen's iPhone Pro 14. And this is a list of all of my history. I can show less or I can show more. But how you want to access this or be able to access this is scroll to the bottom of this page where you'll see edit. Go ahead and open, tap on the edit to open, and make sure that you have iCloud tabs turned on. The other thing that you want to make sure is in the settings app, if I come into the settings app and I tap on my name at the top, and I tap on iCloud and show all, make sure to have Safari backing up to iCloud. Are you tired of scrolling through endless lists of emails to find that one important message? Well, worry no more. iCloud offers a powerful search functionality within the mail app. Just tap on the search bar, and we'll enter a keyword. So if you're not seeing this search bar when you come into Apple Mail because it's slightly hidden, if you just pull down on your mail, if I just slightly pull down, you'll see that the search box appears and I can begin typing in a keyword that'll help me locate the email that I'm looking for. Apple will give you some top hits and some suggestions. So let's say I'm looking for Green Tree Animal Clinic South. If I tap on that, now I'm going to get a listing of all of my emails that have that keyword located inside of it. And this makes it much easier for you to find your relevant emails in a snap. It's a fantastic way to stay organized and save precious time. The final hidden power of iCloud takes us to the world of documents. Did you know that you can collaborate on pages, numbers, and keynote files in real time with iCloud? It's true. No matter where you and your colleagues are or family and friends, you can work together simultaneously making edits and updates that sync across all devices. It's a game changer for anyone who wants to try out collaboration. So to do this, let's first come into the Pages app. And when I do, it's going to bring me into all of the documents uh, that I have in my Pages uh, app. So if you look here, I have a medication list that uh, I share with my sister, and you can see that on 5.2, it says modified by me. So to share a document with somebody, you're going to want to push and hold on the document till it opens up, tap on share. Automatically, it's going to come up as showing collaborate. Choose the people that you want to collaborate with. Send them an invite, and now they will be able to collaborate on the document that you sent them. So this is a pages document. We can also do this inside of Keynote. So if I open Keynote, and I don't have many documents in here, I don't believe, but let's just say, let me come back to the main page where my documents are located. And let's just say I want to share something from here. I'm going to go ahead and push and hold on it. And I'm going to tap on share. And again, now this one comes up with a send copy. If I tap on this, I should have the option to collaborate. And when I do, I can choose how I want to collaborate, whether I want to send it by mail or uh, text messaging. So I have options in there on how I want to send the invitation and I can send it to as many people as I want. So that was Pages and Keynote. And so you can share these uh, in the Numbers app, in Pages, in Keynote, almost in any document that you want to collaborate with somebody. You can share it with them, and in real time, you can edit those pages. 
And there you have it. We've uncovered some of the hidden powers of iCloud that can enhance your digital life from recovering deleted files to seamless collaboration and syncing across devices iCloud proves to be much more than just a storage service. So the next time you're exploring the Apple ecosystem, don't forget to unleash the full potential of iCloud. With iOS 17 on the horizon, you can bet that iCloud will continue to get better. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tricks. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.